Welcome everybody back to Desert Likes, and today we are unboxing the Malak from the Star Wars Black series and this one is by Hasbro. I don't really remember this character at all but when I went back and looked he was actually from that solo movie scene where they're doing the car scene chase. Overall this guy looked pretty cool as he's like this really giant brutish looking worm guy so I'm excited to get into him now. Here's a quick spin of the box and most of what we get is a very simplistic black and red theme with some text on the back. Alright, you know what time it is. Next we have the figure and it's clear inner packaging and everything you can see from the front window is exactly what you get on the inside. There isn't even this boring black base to speak of, which satisfies me more because I would rather get nothing than that. Starting off with accessories, he does come with three, which is a handgun, a staff to do god knows what with, and then a shield visor to cover his face. To attach the visor you just lift up the jaw piece and then you put the visor on just like that. Nothing to it. As for Peyton Sculpt, when he's all pieced together, he does look pretty cool as he's this giant dino worm monster looking beast. I do think that he looks creepy cool with his headgear as it does look kind of like a cocoon maggot worm sort of thing. And then as well, his cloak is super weathered, so overall this guy looks pretty badass. As for range of motion, these Hasbro figures have been doing pretty well since their arms usually bend past the 90 degree angle and then as well their knees are double jointed. For the Malak character though, he is only able to bend his arms, otherwise the articulation is pretty stiff. His head doesn't move and then as well his legs are just this giant one worm piece looking thing and that's all just solid plastic. So there he is next to Figma Major. There he is next to Michael Myers by NECA. There he is next to Reika from Gans. And lastly there he is next to the 1-4 Scary Yoko, the bunny version. Alright so overall I really like having this figure. He is great quality and comes with three different accessories. The drawbacks are is that he doesn't have any leg articulation, no head articulation, there are no extra face plates, and then there are no extra hands. But for the price of $20, he's pretty okay to have. Otherwise, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe, comment your thoughts, follow me on my figure collection, and I'll see you guys next time.